Hello and welcome dear viewers to yet another Oracle Reading here on the Mega Manifestors YouTube channel. I'm your intuitive guide, Madam Moon, and today we're going to see what God, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Wayshores want you to know at this time. Remember, this is a collective reading, alright? So, and it's also timeless, so whenever you find yourself watching, it is the perfect time for you to receive. Okay, I want to thank you all for all of your subscribes, your likes, your shares, also your kind donations all right so let's see what is going on here i'm very excited about you all because i see good things coming your way all right so we have six cards here all right and let's see what messages come through all right so the first card is creating isn't that beautiful? The creating card. All right. So um, there's some kind of um, they're uh, they're asking you to bring out your creative side. All right. Um, there is a gift that you have. Uh, you're very gifted in 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 a, a couple of areas actually. So whatever that is, if you feel that in your gut, you feel that inspired action. Okay. You can feel it. All right. Go ahead and pick up that pen. Pick up that paintbrush. Pick up that instrument. All right. Un, or or sing, all right. Dance, all right. Do what you have to do to express yourself and be creative. Is what they're saying. That's beautiful. Okay, so let's see what else. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. Transformation. Okay. Transform. So right now you're transforming. Okay. You're in a transition period. All right. You're transforming into that beautiful butterfly. Okay. So right now, okay, this is the snow moon also. Um, and we just went through a snow moon um, here. Uh, it's winter time uh, where I am. And so... Um, you're going out of that darkness into the light. So that's a beautiful thing. So go ahead and embrace your transformation. Don't be afraid of it. Okay, know that it is for your higher good. All right, and you're transforming into something beautiful. Okay, what else? Okay, wow. Okay, so there's some type of justice coming to you. All right, so I'm not sure what exactly is going on, but it seems like there is some person around you, um, and I feel like it's in your business area, in your career, all right, that does not um, mean you well, okay? Um, there's something, um, they're trying to take you down, but remember that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Remember, you are a chosen one. So whatever they are trying to do, it's not going to work, okay? But know that there is a person um, that uh, is not, you know, working in your greatest good, all right? They're not working in your favor, all right? But you will have justice uh, in this situation. Look at that, okay? So although, you see that blindfold on there? So. Although you can't see who that person is right now, out of the darkness into the light, you will be able, that person will be revealed to you. So don't worry about that. But whatever they're trying to do is not going to work. All right. So also, okay, see, there it is. That's karma. That's the karma card. All right. So whatever that person is, is, is trying to do, um, uh, that's going to turn totally around on them. So remember, if you do something um, in the dark, it's going to come to light. And if you do something against another person, okay, that's going to come on and back around. It has a beautiful way of doing that, all right? And that's that karma, okay, that's going to hit that person. So that person is going to receive that karma. You're going to be receiving that good karma. Remember, there is good and bad karma, all right? So... So um, this is beautiful. So you are um, a light worker. All right. You are the chosen one and you will prevail. What else? OK, wow, I love it. OK, so that says organize the mind. 
All right, so we know about that. If you've been watching this channel for any given time, you have been learning how to organize your mind. Right now, um, they're asking you to do a little bit more of that because there are some thoughts that are going around and around. There are some things you're thinking about in the past. Remember, that's the past. All right, it has nothing to do with your present. The only thing that you need to think about right now is the present moment. All right, so... Go ahead and organize your mind. Put the past in the past. Okay, don't look too far into the future. All right, remember, we can't look at, well, some of us can look into the future. Okay, but most of us are worried about things that you think may happen. Okay, stop worrying about things that may happen. Go ahead and go with the flow. All right, that's what they're asking you to do, to go with the flow, be present. Okay, in everything that you do. All right, organize your thoughts. Remember that just because a thought comes in your mind doesn't mean you have to accept that thought. Okay, you replace that thought with a thought um, that um, is more conducive to your desires. Okay, think about what you want. Kick out that that old stuff. Okay, if there's somebody at work or you you hear rumors and and things like that. Okay, and then <laughs> don't worry about that. Okay. Um, Remember that, you know, what comes up in your mind, you have a choice of kicking that out of your mind and replacing it with a better thought. OK, I'm on the beach a lot of times. OK, <laughs> you know, because when those random thoughts come into my mind, OK, I know how to kick them out. And all of a sudden I am on laying on the beach under the cabana and, and having a nice cocktail. <laughs> all right. So. I know how to kick that out real fast, okay? So it's a, you know, it's something that you have to practice, okay? But it will be for your advantage, okay? And last card, okay, is to, wow, look at that, all right? The Barley Moon, appreciate, all right? So they want you to look around and appreciate what you have right now, okay? You know when you uh, appreciate what you have now and you give thanks, you will get more in abundance tenfold, right? Okay, so they're asking you to look around, okay? Do you have food? Do you have shelter? All right, do you have your mind? Remember, we're organizing our mind here. Do you have your mind? Is your mind intact? Okay, don't worry if your mind is not intact. Okay, or you think your mind is not intact. It will be intact. <laughs> All right, so... So go ahead and appreciate what you have around you. Appreciate the people that that are working, um, you know, for your good, your tribe, the people that love you. All right. Love them back and be open to love. All right. And be open to, um, you know, show your appreciation for other people. OK, that does a lot for the soul. Okay, so we're going to be rolling those dollar lottery dice. These are the dice that are vibrating at this time, the numbers that are vibrating at this time. You ready? Okay, so that first number is that beautiful number 12. Can you see that number 12? All right, second number. Second number, <laughs> number one. Okay, third number. This is a beautiful number right here at number eight, okay, which is also the infinity sign. All right, and also number 40, okay, the number 40. I love it, okay. Number three, I'm sorry, the next number, number three, all right, number three, and the last number here, the sixth number, is. Number four, foundation. All right, so all together we have 12, 1, 8, 10, 3, and 4. Thanks, Megas. Okay, so we're going with the Soul Truth card right here. Okay, Soul Truth cards, the Self Awareness card deck. All right, so it's going to be a question that um, God, angels, ancestors think um, that you may be asking yourself right now. And we're going to get the answer to that question. So first, we're going to get the question, and then we're going to get the answer to that question. All right, so 
First card is, what is my body telling me right now? This is something that you need to ask yourself. What your body is telling you right now. Okay, so our body speaks to us. Uh, through physical pain or discomfort, our body sends messages for us to look more deeply into something. OK, so see the trapped emotions, the lurking fears and the beliefs that limit you. All right. Those limiting beliefs. Listen to your physical body and you will be led to the source of your pain. It's time to get your healing on. All right. So today's uh, soul action is to get the, the book. Heal Your Body by Louise L. Hay and find the answers toward which your body is guiding you. All right. So the first question, OK, what is your body telling you right now? OK, pay attention to that. All right. Second. All right. Let's see what the second question is. <laughs> second question, please. Guide angels, ancestors, show us clearly. This is the second question. All right. That's it. Second question is, oh, wow, what risk can I take today? All right. So they're asking you to be a little riskier. All right. Don't play it so safe here. OK, so uh, do not be mistaken. You will have to take bigger risks than you ever thought possible on this path toward your dreams. You will have a you will have to take the big scary leap. OK, but do not fret because your soul has wings. All right. So today's so action is what risk can you take to move toward your dreams? Make a decision to do it. No more thinking, only doing now. OK, so be brave, be courageous, and you will discover what you are really made of. All right. What risk can I take today? And the third one, let's get that third, third one out here. All right. This is the question from the universe you maybe need to ask yourself. Wow, okay. You know, I'm sorry, that's not the card. Let's keep going. Okay. Third one. Third question, please. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. It says. What are the dominant emotions that run my life? What are the dominant emotions that are running your life right now? That's what you need to pay attention to. All right. So it says, how do you feel your day? Is it filled with stress or is it filled with joy? OK, trust or anger, anxiety or peace. We have only today, right now. All right. The present, the journey, it's all in the journey. OK, no goal nor destination will bring us the feeling we seek. But when we begin filling every day with that which we value most, we will attract more of it. This is fulfillment. OK, so today's soul action. Lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life, your values and your expectations to match your desires. OK, what do you want to feel? All right. Think about that. What do you want to feel? Are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? All right. So pay attention to what your dominant emotions are. What is running your life right now? Okay, that's beautiful. Thank you, Megas. Many thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to contact me, please send me an email at madamoon888 at gmail.com. Also, if this message resonated with you at all, go ahead and press that like button and consider leaving a nice comment below. All right? Love and light. Take care.